Hi, my name is Crystal Howard. I am a certified wedding planner in the Austin area with Love Gush Events. And today I'm so excited to talk to you about um, wedding flowers. As you know, wedding flowers can be extremely expensive for your wedding day, and typically they'll die the day after, after spending thousands of dollars on wedding flowers. But I'm here to talk to you about a very unique alternative that I don't hear on the market being spoken about very often. They're called wood flowers made of uh, tapioca plant root. Um, the great thing about these flowers are one, you can preserve them. That means that if you want to save your bouquet, you can preserve them forever um, in a display case if you want to put it on your wall. And it's a keepsake that you can have from your wedding day. Um, also two, they're much more affordable than real wedding flowers. And lastly, three, they offer a really unique twist to what they can offer. So some of the flowers have different, no ever two flowers are the same. If you notice, these two are mint green, but they look completely different. They have a lot of unique imperfections. No two are ever the same, and their small imperfections is what makes them so unique. Um, they're easy to clean. I think you could use an air duster because they will dust over time. Um, the great thing is, is that you have so many alternatives and the, this alternative in particular, I think is a great one to consider instead of doing silk flowers, which silk flowers do look really fake. These, however, look really real. If you can tell, this looks like a real bouquet. It's lightweight, it's lighter weight than regular ones. And then the added touch, the icing on the cake is, they smell super good and my florists will actually add a scent of whatever scent you would want added on the bouquet. So they smell good as well. And you can make it whatever you want. Um, the other option is you can do a centerpiece as well for your wedding day that they do. This is an example of a centerpiece. It's been sitting for three weeks on my, on my table and you would never even know. They look brand new like I just bought them yesterday or today even. Um, and this becomes a keepsake and you can even bring it home, put it on your dining room set after your wedding day where you're not wasting the flowers after your wedding day. Some examples of boutonnieres. Um, how many times have you been at a wedding and how many men do you think really saved the boutonnieres of the day after the wedding? Probably not many. So this is a great option um, since they won't save them and they're super affordable. This is another example of a boutonniere idea. You tell more of a rustic look for those country brides and then the last option is for your mother of the bride or mother of the groom you could do a corsage and they can keep it as a keepsake after the day of the wedding when the flowers are not going to die and attach it to a really nice pretty beaded bracelet so if they're wearing pearls this is a perfect option for them if you notice my hand Anyways, I think this is a really great alternative to consider if you have a limited budget. If you have a limited budget and a very large bridal party, I can tell you right now it's going to be under $1,000 if you have seven to eight bridesmaids and groomsmen um, in your wedding. Um, and it's something to think about. So if you want to learn more, go to my website, www.lovegushaventsaustin.com now to learn more about my floral um, ideas and learn about my florist that actually does this for brides and is killing it in the market right now, which I have not heard about so far. So consider wood flowers for your wedding day. If you don't wanna spend a lot of money on your wedding day flowers and you want an alternative for real flowers. Thank you and happy wedding planning.